Welcome to the ITU studio, and we're here today with Marcin Krasuski, who is head of the International Relations Unit of the Department of Telecommunications of Poland. He's also CEPT coordinator for ITU and vice chairman of the Standing Committee for Administration and Management of the ITU Council. Marcin, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having this opportunity. Thank you very much. I'd like to start off by asking you about the ITU Council that's uh, meeting over the next few days. Yes. What, do you, what for you do you think are the main challenges of the ITU Council this year? I guess the main things are to finish off uh, the conferences, the outcomes of conferences that we had in, in, in recent months, uh, approving the reports from the WICKET, uh, from WTSA, and from the WTPF. So lots of strange abbreviations, but quite, of, quite a lot of, lot, lot of, uh, lot of work and lo lots of job to do. And on top of that, I would say that it would be uh, a budgetary uh, problems because as you know like we are living right now in the middle of economic uh, financial crisis so then the crisis uh, poses a lot of challenges to individuals to corporations to member states and to international organizations like ITU so the key issue would be to find a way that ITU can fulfill its mission and uh, have long-term financial stability so that would be the the, 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 the key job for us uh, for us Tell me a little bit about the committee that you're vice chairman of and, and why, why its work is important and, and what, what uh, essentially it's going to be tackling this year. Yeah, okay, so uh, basically the council divides itself into two. Uh, one is a plenary and second one is a standing committee uh, that I'm a member of. And basically st the standing committee uh, the does uh, fulfills its it, it tasks or concentrates mainly on budget management and on uh, on financial issues, and as I said before, since we have uh, we are living in a times of economic constraints, uh, I guess that would be the most important task to find a long term solution for ITUs in coming years to have to guarantee that ITU can fulfill its mission in future. Without going into the minutiae of it, how complex a task is it going to be to balance all of these elements out, do you think? It will be complex because, as you know probably, there are different interests within, with, uh, surrounding the whole process. You know, the different member states, they, they want to pursue different goals. There are, they have different priorities, different parts and different policies uh, fulfilled by ITU are, are, are important for, for them. So finding a right balance uh, would be a crucial step. And then trying to find uh, a new, more efficient way, uh, ways of doing things here in Geneva, that would be another important step, another important step for, uh, for ITU. And what's Poland's perspective on this? Uh, for us, uh, the most important task would be to have, to guarantee that ITU is able to achieve its mission and to achieve the, the goals that it's uh, that it's dedicated to. Uh, so this is important, and then that's why we would like to see ITU to become uh, much more efficient. And now I know that there are, there are policy, internal policy, being implemented, like uh, results-based budgeting, uh, like introducing new uh, KPIs, key performances indicators. And this is, in our opinion, this is a st these are steps in the in right di direction because these steps are helping ITU to become more efficient and be basically better in the future. Uh, but then, of course, there are, uh, there are problems uh, with uh, long-term uh, obligations of ITU. And here, uh, this is and, and here this is uh, this is difficult because uh, because not everything depends on ITU because for example uh, for example some some things depend on EU are under EU and pension system and we cannot do much about these things and and I can tell you that in this case uh, the budgetary uh, position of pension is is getting uh, bigger and bigger so we have to tackle it. Marcin Kaczynski, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much.